yeah, admiring her, two, I think three years ago, uh, yeah, three years ago, um, I went to uh, Milton Keynes uh, to have an interview with Marvin Herbert, uh, with KON TV, Christian Morgan. Good good interview, mate. Uh, but as soon as you see Marvin, um, you see that aura about him. He's got that aura. Uh, he, you can see that he's, he used to be a wicked man, man. You can see that, you know, and he's still got that there, yeah? And, you know, you're talking to him and he, he's, he's just... The power oozes out of him, you know, the, the power of his voice and everything, yeah. And, you know, so I made it I made another interview with him. I come over there with a mate of mine, yeah. And a mate of mine wanted my Marvin to do something for him, yeah. So anyway, we were sitting there and uh after the interview, uh, my mate's gone over to Marvin sitting down and talking to him and uh, you could see uh my mate was a little bit jittery. Uh, Marvin uh, become across really powerful, yeah. Uh, he, I mean, to look at him, you wouldn't think that he's got um, conditions of not, you know, bad arms, bad leg, and and one eye, yeah. You wouldn't think that, you know. You would never in a million years. You, I mean, you've got also you can see about his eye, but they're talking. Uh, he's still got that pre pre presence about him, you know, the power, you know. And my mate was going. You could see my mate didn't want to know, mate. He just, he didn't want to know. Marvin put it on him in a way. Uh, my mate shouldn't have said what he said to him. And then Marvin said, okay, bum, bum, bum. And my, my, uh, and my mate went, oh, wow. I don't want that, you know what I mean? Sort of like pulled away from him as such, yeah? All right, I'll get in contact. And then Marvin um, had a little chat to me and said, listen, you, you know, got to tell this guy, it's he, 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 he either wants it or he don't want it, you know what I mean? Don't come down here telling me this and telling me that, you know, because right, ain't all right. it's going to cost him money just to sit here and talk to me like, about things like that. I'm here as a friend to you, you know, this guy should be paying me just to talk to me the way he's talking to me, which is a liberty, yeah? So I said, yeah, all right, anyway. And then Marvin jumped up, but larking about, you know, and... He, you know, and he said, well, punch me in the belly, um, you know, to me and to, to my mate. And my mate looked at him and his tummy was ripped. It was no fat on it whatsoever. It was ripped to pieces. It was all tummy muscles, big inch tummy muscles coming out, you know. And, you know, and I thought, man, I can't do that. I can't hit him. I just can't, you know what I mean? I thought, no, you, you, you know. But I have seen Marvin, I have seen Marvin um take a few whacks off of people uh you know when he's gone to gone to see people at boxing shows and bits and pieces like that and he takes it up and i see people really whack him but a lot of people are a bit wary i mean come on you i mean you know you get some of these people go he goes hit me harder hit me harder but how hard you hit him do you know what i mean how hard you hit someone like that you know i mean it'd be terrible uh, to hit him and you know to just smash him up, you know what I mean, smash him, smash his ribs up, or, you know, you don't know what you might do, you know what I mean, and it is like, you get something, whack, I mean, asking me to do it, I mean, no, 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 I don't want to get involved in that, you know what I mean, I don't, I don't want to do that, you know, because deep down inside, you're thinking to myself, well, the power you've got in you, you're 18, 19 stone, you know what I mean, and, and, and you're, you're, you're very physically, physically uh, powerful, you know, and I said, no, no, but I've seen him do it. I mean, I've seen him, you know, um, do this and do that. But as I'm saying, he's still very mentally uh, and physically, in a way, uh, the man's uh, a powerhouse, you know, Marvin. He's a powerhouse, and there isn't many people could do what he does, you know, and he's, um, you know, it's just fantastic what he can do. I mean, you know, you see, you hear a lot of the podcasts he put up, and people are going, nah, there's no way he done that, and there's, nah, it's all gobblers, you know what I mean? But to sit down, you know, you hear it, you hear it on the, on, on, on the, uh, on our YouTube, uh, he's sitting down and talking to someone, and he really can't get it, he really can't get him. But if you're physically sitting there with him, sitting there with him, and looking at him, and the way he talks, the way he comes across, th that power, comes oozes out of him, yeah. And you think, oh, this guy's this this guy's real, you know what I mean? This guy, he don't muck about. He's a, he's real, you know. And I mean, I'm real myself, yeah. But um, 
when I, you know, when I sat down with him, and he would come across it. What I, what, I will say something. Though, what he didn't, what he did, didn't do. He didn't do what a lot of what he does on, when he goes and interviews with people. He didn't. Um, he didn't come across all the time. You know, interfering with, with me talking. And when he did, he made common sense. You know, he made common sense. And uh, I like the way he does his podcast. I like the way he does his interviews with people. Um, you know, and when people interview Marvin. I mean, him and Bobby Cummings, they've got like 3 million, uh, uh, 3 million uh, views on uh, on Lad Bible, on them two sitting together, you know, and, you know, and, and, and it was and it was a really, really good interview, so them two together was fantastic, Bobby Cummings and, and Marvin Herbert, you know, both powerful people, both powerful talkers, you know, and that's what it's about, isn't it? When he's sort of like telling the story, like they telling the stories, it's about the power in your voice, the power where you come across with it. Otherwise, if you're very weak, yeah, you know what I mean? It's, no one's going to take a notice. If you start growling at people and ah, all that, it, people take more notice. It seems to be this is on YouTube. I've been on YouTube a long time, you know, and and after seeing Marvin, uh, the way Marvin is, the way he comes across, I think to myself, fucking hell, mate. He's brilliant. He's very good at what he does, you know. And he should, he should uh, write a book, Marvin, uh, you know, really, about his life. Um, I think um, it'd be a good seller for him, mate. On the way, bang, bang, round, last one.